What do we have here? Probably the fastest recovery machine I've ever owned. And I haven't even tried it yet. But from what tests I've seen between the other Navac recovery unit and I own the field piece recovery unit that is very fast. I used to own the very old, remember the OZ for you guys who are in HVAC, guys in automotive air conditioning or an automotive trade won't know who OZ Technologies was, but there was an OZ recovery machine. It was a little tin box thing. It was kind of painted green. Uh, back in the early 90s, we used to have them for recovery in, in commercial HVAC. Um, automotive guys didn't know what they were. Uh, all automotive guys know are the big names like Robin Air and Bosch and uh, there was a few other names and then later on in the year some big companies came in after um, the early 90s and 1992 we were required in the United States to start recovering refrigerant and uh, automotive guys had to buy really big machines in commercial HVAC we had stuff like this but over the decades I've probably had about 15 17 different recovery machines because I burn through them a lot because of the quantity and amount I do but if you've seen one of my last videos about the big Panasonic VFR unit where somebody decided to throw an extra 20 plus pounds of extra refrigerant on top of the manufacturer's charge and the complete charge and how long it took me to recover that with the little field piece unit that's what prompted me to buy this unit this unit was not on the market. It was only talked about and you kind of in the prototype and it was just in marketing, but nowhere in production or in the uh, United States for sale yet. So right after that video I did in the Panasonic or well, I was on that video and dreading life recovering refrigerant so slowly. I looked this one up, this unit, this NAVAC, the NRDC4M because I knew about it. Nobody had it. It wasn't in existence. Everybody said it was weeks away. So I went to one of my most trusted online uh, purchasing tool sales places, which is True Tech Tools. Uh, I've been buying tools for them from years. Uh, for the you technicians or owners of shop who are still leery and don't trust buying things, especially when they start getting into the thousands of dollars buying online because you don't trust them. I can vouch for True Tech Tools. I've been buying tools from them for years. They've always made it. They've always been in good condition and they've always delivered. So this is the latest and the speed of the field piece over my predecessors uh, recovery units. The field piece was good for vapor. One of my previous ones were better for recovering liquid. So if I was going to recover and you guys in the automotive don't know the difference between R134 and R410. R410 gas is a high pressure gas. If I have some there, I got R12, 134, 134. I think in one of these tanks or one of these tanks, I have R22. That one's R R1234YF. That's the new gas. Actually, I got to make a video on that. Um, automotive guys don't know the extreme difference in pressures and temperature relationship to refrigerants so i'll do a future video on that this machine should be fast enough that my return on investment should probably be within the first few weeks uh so let's do a unboxing here and i've never done an unboxing video i always thought they were kind of waste my time didn't even want to watch them because they take a lot of time and they always make a big deal out how it's packaged like an iPhone or something like that I could care less with the box or you could give me a homeless per person's paper bag so long as my tool comes complete don't waste money on shiny packaging and elaborate boxing so here's the new Navac it is not the lightest beast on earth but um, when doing a large job, if you could save yourself a couple hours on uh, a job on recovery, instead of standing around for several hours having to monitor your recovery machine, 
if you could be out there several hours if you're a couple hundred dollars an hour this pays back itself in the first few jobs if you're doing a lot of little tiny multiple jobs where things are only have one or two or three or four pounds in it if you could cut your time down in almost half or even if you cut off 20 percent of your time off on a little job and you could get one extra job out every day because you had several small jobs and at the end of the day you got one extra job and that one extra job was say 200 300 dollars and you got that extra job just because you had this instead of what you had before this will pay itself off within the week so this is what i'm going after for uh probably the new gold standard for recovery pumps that's for sure and we got a harness i can see the harness loops here nothing to show there i think everybody has seen a shoulder pack harness before we have our computer looking cord our fill float tank um a lot of hvac guys here in the u.s don't have float tanks uh float valves electronic float valves inside their recovery tanks uh, because they can actually weigh and they know not to fill their tanks more than 80 percent and they know percentages and weights and they hopefully can do simple math but in the automotive industry they always have float valves for protection because they're afraid automotive guys will overflow and blow a tank and uh, they figure since they usually don't have much more than a sixth grade education they can't read and they'll just give them a safety thing and make it mandatory in their machines and we have instructions never read okay don't need those um well, what can I say? This will, I'll make a video on this in its use, but I'm pretty damn sure when I do uh, use it, I'll do some time comparison. And yeah, I could see the return on investment on this coming back really soon. And I do a lot of recoveries, probably within the next couple months, I will probably pop out Mm, let's see if I do another video on this in about three months uh, I'll do one video first initially using it and then I'll do one video after about three or four months and I should have three or four hundred recoveries under the belt of this thing and uh, I'll tell you it uh, how it how it performs after a couple hundred videos uh, after a couple hundred recoveries I don't edit my videos I leave them as is so if you already know that, you know I don't clean up anything I say. I leave all the mistakes in. And when I make videos on procedures I'm doing, I leave the mistakes in. And hopefully I explain and I catch them before the video ends. Or down underneath in description, I'll write down my mistakes or, or add some more wording that should have been in there. Catch you on the next one. And Navex, good products like their vacuum pumps I think I'll may have found a replacement for my field piece recovery unit we'll see